Little Baby and Blueface are going to fight. This whole beef started earlier in the year during the Super Bowl when Krishan Rock linked Little Baby. Allegedly, they took this picture, but for some reason, I cannot find this picture, guys. But I know this picture is real because I was doing some research and other people are saying this picture was taken, but for some reason, I can't find the picture. Along with them taking a picture, they also exchanged numbers, which is just a big red flag, which led to that infamous screenshot of Lil Baby and Krishan Rock texting. After this, Blueface just started crying to Krishan about it. Oh, why are you worry about him? And what that stupid stuff. Anyways, we fast forward to today and Blueface drops a sperm nuke inside Krishan Rock. They got a baby together, but they broke up. So that's a L. Blueface also has a new girl, a new baby mama, actually. So it seems like he's moved on with life in regards to Krishan. However, his beef with Lil Baby seems to not have gone anywhere. Just recently, Lil Baby dropped this snippet. <laughs> Oh my God. Blueface, you can't let this slide. You cannot let this, this go unresponded. This dude pretty much just called you irrelevant. He didn't say the fuck is a Chris Sean Rock. So pretty much he's saying Chris Sean Rock got more clout than you. Oh no. He's saying the girl that you put on, you put this girl on, you made her relevant. You got her clout. You got her money. And somehow now she more relevant than you. Nah. He's saying the girl that you put on has surpassed you in the celebrity light. Lil Baby pretty much saying Blueface don't got no bangers. He got no feats. He got no skin in the game. So pretty much he's saying motherfuckers forgot about Blueface. Which is crazy because that means we would forgot about bust down Tatiana you slut ass thought dick sucking bitch. The Tatiana dance or whatever this stupid ass dance. Guys this dance was dumb as hell guys. This dance was horrible. I remember everyone was doing this stupid bow vibrational dance you know me irl i never did this dance before it was so stupid so dumb like like honestly who was doing this dance bro virgins like this bro there's no way you're gonna tell me there's some guy out there knocking down some bad bitches and they doing this dumb dance i'm not going for it no way no disrespect to blueface but this dance was not it i gotta give it to blueface though he not no bitch little baby dropped that snippet blueface responded with a whole song you know he was on timing he just dropped this song called baby mama drama Krishan Rock is in the vid, and I know earlier I said they broke up, but at this point, guys, I don't even know what the fuck the status of their relationship is. More importantly, I don't give a fuck about it either. This relationship is very confusing. You know, it's like the high school couple. One moment, the high school couple's together. Next thing you know, they're broken up, and the girl, she's fucking like two other guys, the coach, the teacher, and all that other type of stuff. Then she's back to her boyfriend. So, you know, like, who knows? Anyways, in this song, Blueface disses little baby by saying... <laughs> So if you don't understand what Blueface is referencing in this line, he's pretty much referring to these pictures that were taken of Lil Baby at Mike Rubin's all-white party. I'm gonna keep it 100, Lil Baby. This is not a good look for you. This does not look good at all. It looks like these two gentlemen are sliming you out. Why are there two fellows surrounding the front and back areas of your body? More importantly, look at how happy this guy is, bro. I have never seen Lil Baby this happy in my life ever. Not when he hit his first lick, not when he got his first single on the charts, not when he caught his first body, not when he popped his first perk, not when he got his first bag, not when he brought his first Birkin bag. Bro, I've never seen Lil Baby this happy. This is actually concerning. This is looking hella suspicious. Look at this picture right here. We got Mark hugging Lil Baby from the back. Look at Lil Baby's face. He's like, yo, Mark, your dick is touching my ass, man. What are you doing? So, so far in this, this battle of things that have been said between Blueface and Lil Baby, Lil Baby calls Blueface irrelevant and Blueface calls Lil Baby a flaming hot dick sucking homosexual. So I don't know about y'all, but to me, it's pretty clear who the winner is. I'm gonna have to go with Blueface, right? Like calling someone irrelevant is one thing, but to call someone a homosexual that's sucking dick, nah, that's wild. Something has to happen. Add that up with those pictures of Lil Baby getting slimed out. You know, that's the type of stuff you can't come back from. They also had some exchanges on Twitter. Lil Baby tweeted out, who y'all stop playing. He's referring to Blueface. Blueface responds with, you know who. You know, this is cute and all talking shit on the internet and all that type of stuff. But like I said, we got people calling each other dick sucking homosexuals. So, you know, talking is cool. But like, nah, y'all gotta fight. Y'all gotta box. I know Blueface, he got some experience in the ring. He got some experience with fighting. And, you know, I'm just now finding out that it looks like Lil Baby also has some experience in physical activity. So, it'd be interesting to think about how the fight would go down. Honestly, guys, I gotta side with Blueface. Blueface has been boxing for quite some time now. Lil Baby, I don't know. That nigga's like buying Chanel bags and that type of shit, you know? So, I think Blueface got him outclassed there. Blueface is just a soldier, right? Matter of fact, I don't know if you guys heard about this, but a few months ago, Blueface was actually in the gym training, sparring, boxing. And out of nowhere, some guy randomly just came and stabbed him. And that's just insane. So many questions with that scenario, right? Like, uh, imagine just sitting there boxing, training, and some guy comes out of nowhere and just stabs you and then leaves. To make it worse, nobody stopped him. 
They just watched him stab you and, 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 and let him leave. El people. To make the situation even crazier, after getting stabbed, the feds went to go question Blueface and, the, and he ain't tell the feds nothing. He held it down. He stayed solid. He wasn't like Megan. He didn't snitch. He kept it real. He ain't say nothing. And I gotta say, that's some real nigga shit because let me tell you something. If that was me, if someone came and stabbed me and the feds come and question me, I'm telling the feds everything. Yale officer, he appeared to be six feet. He was kind of black. He was wearing this gray do-rag. It kind of stunk a little bit. Matter of fact, I'm going to start making up lies to make sure if this guy gets the worst consequence possible. Be it, officer. After this guy stabbed me, he like pulled out his dick and started peeing on me. Like, you know, I'm saying mad wild shit just to make sure that guy gets put in jail. But the fact that Blueface didn't snitch or didn't say anything to the feds, that tells me that he plans on getting that back in blood himself. So yeah, as of right now, it's looking like Blueface is winning the war against Lil Baby. So I gotta say, it's pretty unfortunate that these guys are beefing. Well, not that they're beefing, right? Because if you know me, you know me, IRL. I love shit talking. I love the talking of the shit. But I mean in the sense that what they're beefing over. This whole beef pretty much started over Krishan Rock. Fighting over a girl, that's a L. Beefing over a girl, that is also a L. It's unfortunate that both these high-value gentlemen are beefing over a girl. Just to make it even worse, to show that arguing over a girl is stupid. It seems like Krishan is pregnant again. Who's the dad? I don't know. You know, if it's not Blueface, I don't know. Like, you know what, fuck? I'm done talking about these people. I do want to talk to y'all about something real quick. You know, my last video, my video about EDP. YouTube took it down. I called it. I called that YouTube was going to take it down. It's very unfortunate that YouTube was taking down my video where I'm just talking about uh, a child groomer. A overweight child groomer they were saying i was harassing him but you know this guy's like actually out here harassing little kids what does that mean but yeah i'm gonna wrap the video up guys like comment and sub it helps me so much if there's anything you want me to talk about in the comments let me know in the comments below my name is crazy and i'll see all you wonderful delicious heartfelt people again when i drop another video